we're clearly in a very challenging macroeconomic environment. Uh, we've had a, a, a surge in inflation uh, underpinned by imbalances within supply and demand last year and then exacerbated by an energy crisis uh, originating from war in Ukraine. Uh, this has led to significant tightening in monetary policy across all major bank, major central banks. Uh, this is leading to a repricing in debt costs and increased volatility across financial markets. Increasingly, there is a realization that the global economy cannot easily withstand much higher inflation and higher interest rates. And therefore, there is a, a general consensus that we're looking at materially slower growth over the next 12 to 18 months. One of the big topics coming out of COVID-19 was the need to build resilience into supply chains. What we've seen in the short term is that firms have really adopted this kind of just-in-case uh, philosophy. Uh, we've seen a significant rebuilding in, in inventories across the, you know, the G7 economies. And that's helping to ease supply chain pressures and increase resilience to continued uh, disruptions around China and zero COVID, around kind of climate and drought, for example, and labor shortages. Um, if you think about kind of medium term, um, the nearshoring really provides you know, a viable path towards boosting resilience in supply chains. It also has some other factors that, that would be attractive around, for example, uh, the compatibility of, of, of globalization and net zero. Uh, global trade accounts around 20 to 30 percent of, of global carbon emissions and around 70 percent of that is tied up in, in supply chains. So there's really an incompatibility between kind of offshoring and uh, you know reducing scope three emissions. Now mostly the data is still anecdotal in, in, in nature but those anecdotes are increasing over time and over the longer term you know we would expect to see more kind of nearshoring or reshoring to help build resi resilience in supply chains, reduce disruption from, from geopolitics or climate or transportation bottlenecks uh, in, the, you know, in the future years to come.